have the third one, but it's so heavy. It's like, I feel like I could literally do like wrist curls with this book. Hey, we're back. Okay, so I finished reading the book and I wrote all of my thoughts down on a little bit of note card. So I don't know, I think it's in my backpack. I don't know where the note card is because I returned the book to the library. I'm really, really hoping it wasn't in the book because then someone will get like a note card like full of my opinion, which like, I don't know. I don't want to ruin like the book for them. Be like, oh, this note card, this little bookmark spoiled the whole plot for me. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It'd be like, it'd be like Tom Riddle, but like bookmark edition. Here it is. That's right. That's good. Okay. You ready? The first, like, 56 pages of this book, I had, like, nothing to say. I was like, well, this is pretty, pretty self-explanatory. As you know, he, uh, leaves the Dursleys and felt like, oh, no, you horrible child, for, like, the third time. And then he basically takes a bus, and there's this criminal who escaped him. We're like, oh, no, what a dangerous criminal. Everyone's like, oh, yes, he's after you, Harry. And that's basically the summary of, like, the first 50 pages. So then, on 56, I wrote, I'm finally glad that Ron, no, I'm so glad that Ron finally got his own wand. And it was true. It was true. I was so mad. I was like, this other book, like, Harry, you have money. Why? Are you not like just like helping your friend fix his wand like i feel like that's like a no-brainer to me like obviously i would be like yeah sure let's go get you a new wand on page 66 i made a prediction that was completely untrue i said i bet the azkaban guards are in on sirius's escape that would have been that could have been interesting that could have been interesting no but that that was that was not what happened <laughs> but that's what i thought would happen uh on page 86 i made a good prediction to contrast mm, a bad prediction a uh, lupin lupin it means wolf in French. So I said, maybe he's a traitor. Maybe he's working with the Azkaban guards in Sirius, which was not true. But I did, I did get that his name meant wolf. Hello, everybody. Editing patience here. If you are enjoying the video so far, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Back to the video. Page 108. Uh, I thought, like, Harry's gonna die. I actually like, okay. See, I don't know what it is with me. Like, liking all, like, the unlikable people in the Harry Potter universe. Like, the one guy. I thought the one guy was cool. Ollivander. Uh, and Professor Trelawney, I thought she was dope. I was like, man, I would like that class. I wrote down, I think she'd fit in at the School of Business, which tells you a lot about business professors. In page 172, um, this was after the Boggart. Um, they're learning about werewolves, and that was when I- that was when I called it. I was like, I bet Lupin's a werewolf because of his fear of the orb, the potion, and his name is literally Lupin, which means wolf. So, I was- I called it? You know, it only took me 172 pages! Oh, uh, yeah, I did call it, though. I'd like that to be known. <laughs> oh, I wanted to make and eat the butterbeer, and all the food they described in Honeydukes, I was like, I'd like that. You know, I'd like- I, I would like this food. Like, prepare it for me. But like, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird, like, because Butterbeer, they didn't really describe how it tastes. So like, I kind of, I kind of feel like it's butterscotchy, if that makes sense. Like, kind of like a warm, how do I even put this? Like a butterscotch, but like with more emphasis on the butter kind of deal. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's a shame. <laughs> shame we're off wizards. Page 256, 258, sorry. The Ravenclaw seeker is named Cho Chang. Now, I don't know about you. But uh, I felt like that was a little bit racist, but I mean, maybe that is, maybe that's just genuinely a name, but like, mm, I don't know. To recap my like findings on the book or whatever, uh, I liked it. I liked it. I thought it was pretty fun. You know, we got some world building. The Hogsmeade scenes were like so much fun. Honestly, like every scene we spent in Hogsmeade, I was like, oh, this is so much fun. Uh, the Patronus was cool. I, I actually really liked the scene. Like, okay, confessions here. I like borderline teared up when he like saw his father and it was actually himself. I was like, I called it, but I was like, okay, that hits right. You know, we're getting, we're getting that emotion, the heart vibes in here. It was good. I really liked that. Uh, I still, I still ship Ron and Hermione. I can't ship Hermione and Harry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just can't. Every single scene they're like, oh yeah, they're trying to force Hermione and Harry together. But I'm like, it ain't happening. Ron is over here! You got the enemies to lovers, they still kind of clash sometimes, but like, I don't know. I really ship it, and I know they're gonna make him get with Hermione because he's Harry and he's the main character, but there's a better ship here. <laughs> I liked the um, plot with Sirius, I liked how he was Harry's like stepfather. It's kind of sad, but like fitting, it was like a good kind of sad that he couldn't just go live with him next summer. I thought that would have been really fun, but like at the same time, I feel like it's good. The librarian said that it dragged. I don't think that it did. I think it, it went pretty well. It had a bit of a slow pace at the beginning. So if you were like a child, I could see it being like, where is my action? Where is my action? But I'm not a child <laughs> and I enjoyed the world building and it was kind of fun. I liked it. Anyway, 
So that's my thoughts on Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban.